Hey y'all, welcome back, Mandy with My Hectic Life Pets, where we talk about all things pet and pet related. And today, let's get to know the African Dwarf Frog. So the African Dwarf Frog is a tiny little aquatic frog. They are 100% aquatic, so they cannot survive outside of water for more than 15 to 20 minutes. Now they are a social frog, so you do want to have at least two in your tank. A five to 10 gallon tank is usually pretty suitable for them, depending on how many frogs you wanna keep. Now they are air breathers, so you don't wanna keep them in too deep of a tank. If you have like a 50 gallon tall tank, you definitely don't wanna put those frogs in there. Smaller tanks tend to be on the more shallow side, which makes it easier for them to come up for air. Now for filtration, these guys are not the strongest swimmers, so you do want to get a low flow filter or add a baffle. Under gravel filters, sponge filters, these are great filtration methods for your frogs. If you do have a power filter or internal filter that you do feel is a little strong, some of these are adjustable where you can turn the flow down on the water pump and if it's not adjustable, you can always add a baffle. Filter floss or a filter sponge can do wonders on slowing down the flow in your tank. So the African Dwarf Frog can be a little on the clumsy side sometimes and they can really easily injure themselves. So you wanna make sure that you are using a smooth substrate in the tank and you want to use decorations that does not have any sharp edges. These guys are a little bit on the shy side, so giving them a little bit of safe decor that does not have sharp edges and live plants or even silk plants is gonna be a huge help for them and make them feel more safe and secure in their tank. Now the African Dwarf Frog's lifespan is on average about five years, but there have been reported cases of them living as long as 10 plus years. So you might be able to get to enjoy your frogs for many years to come. So for the African Dwarf Frog's diet, of course these guys are insectivores. So there are manufactured pellets out there available for aquatic frogs and tadpoles, but they will also enjoy things like mysis shrimp, tubifex worms, brine shrimp, and blood worms. Just be cautious if you are feeding things like live tubifex worms to your frogs as they can carry parasites. So just be on the cautious side there. So moving along, the African Dwarf Frog's ideal temperature range in their tank is gonna be between 75 and 78 degrees. Now, like most aquatic life, you wanna make sure that there is not a large fluctuation going on in the tank temperatures. So depending on where you live and how warm your tank water stays, you might need to get a heater for your frogs. And as with most aquatic animals and fish, you will ideally want to cycle your tank before adding them in. Now do be aware though that these guys tend to do best in a species only tank. They can sometimes survive with other fish, sometimes with larger shrimp, but do be careful with shrimp. They need to be large enough that the frog will not eat them or they will eat them. And with other fish, these guys do tend to be a little bit of a fin nipper, so definitely keep an eye on that. Some are more nippy than others. I had a female that was super aggressive and would even bite at the other frogs. So it can be on a frog to frog basis as to how aggressive they are gonna be. Okay, so that's all for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel where I post new videos every week. Thanks for watching guys, bye.